I had a podcast done for two years. Yo, Charmaine, when you free? What? <laughs> Keep it a beat with y'all niggas. I don't care. I see Charlemagne with a hater that he signed, but I can't get him on my podcast. I've been begging him for like a year. Whenever you free, bro. Whenever. I've been on Andrew Schultz twice. Now I feel a way. Facts. I'm a do X podcast, man. <laughs> yes, come on. Oh, oh, you are? Why did why it took you so long to do it? Man? He never asked me. Come on, bro. Oh, he did. Charlotte. Yo, can he I say something? Just, Hold on. Man. He went on live, ranted, said that he asked you many know. times. Well, Hold that's on. Not true. <laughs> Act might have asked me one time, like when it first launched, and I was like, yeah, cool, let's do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it's got to be some follow up. And I, I told him two weeks ago, reach out to this person, let's make it happen. I ain't heard it back. Boom. I ain't heard it back yet. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. I'm definitely down to do act podcast. So him complaining that you didn't give any pushback to what Loon was I saying. thought I was. I, 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 I thought I was. I, I wasn't giving it. But it wasn't directed at me either. He was talking to Andrew. Why, is, yeah, why was he true. talking to me? What did I have to I do? I wasn't on the list of priorities. And it's always been a situation where I give favors that way. Favors don't really come back in my way. It's fine. I never really tripped on it. That day... Of course, I was in my feelings a little bit. Of course, nigga. I'm like, damn, this nigga with a hater, he's with a hater that I don't know how many times a hater asked you, but if you really looked at me as anybody who you respected and you talking to me like these days when we talk. February 8th, 2022. Y'all niggas reading and weeping, nigga. Look, bro, I don't lie. Charlemagne, peace, you should do a top 10. I said, Char, need you for a podcast. February 8, 2022. Need you for a podcast episode for Off the Record. I asked him before I asked Andrew. I'm looking at Shara. That's you. my nigga. Whatever you free. Been too long. Hope 22, 2022 been good to you. Senior mover Kevin Hart. Keep leading. I'm watching. He said, peace. I'm coming soon. That's my word. How are you? We start talking about some other shit. Okay. All right. Bingo right here. Hold on. Here you go. This is right after the Dusty and Bro shit. This is how I go, bro. I'm, I'm, nigga, I keep it 100. 713, which is yesterday. I'm going to hit him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to... I ain't say he's still curving me. That's not the thing. I'm just talking about... And it was just back then when I'm talking about just mutual respect. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you how much I've been on it. Since you didn't know. Nigga, I counted every interview that Charmaine did to that. I promise you. I swear. I just didn't say nothing about it. I only said something when I'm like, damn, this nigga really was down to do a haters podcast before he did mine. Somebody said, rapist versus someone who dislikes you? Yeah, I consider all the same shit. I don't want no nigga coming on here. First of all, semi sending like, like a threat like nobody's scared of him. That big loon goofy nigga can't do a motherfucking thing to me. He on your platform sending coded threats. You over here giggling, acting like you just giving him a platform. Nigga, there's mad people who want to meet. When act done spared you for when, when, when niggas, niggas been trying to get shit hot with y'all niggas. And they're all sending to me. I got the mama on my email. I got this person trying to. No, nigga, I'm not doing that. Period. If I can't get that type of respect, nigga, let it be known then, nigga. That, exactly. That type of discretion. Facts. Yo, yo, yo. It's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on DJ Academics, responding to what Charlemagne had to say about the rant he had went on last month. He was up early one morning off the liquor and started to call people out about not coming to do his podcast after he had did theirs. And Charlemagne was one of the people that caught that because he also brought somebody on there that don't got nothing positive to say about academics. And I'm going to have links in the description where you can watch them clips in full that from that original academics live stream. Then Charlemagne going on a brilliant idiot yesterday talking about it and said that he wanted to do academics podcasts and they would do it. And then what you call it responded saying, nah, nigga, I got the text right here showing I reached out to you multiple times. Why are you saying you only hit you one time when we hadn't been talking? But really, when it come down to the come down, there's layers to this, bro. And I'm going to tell you like this. When the nigga go to the internet first, it's always going to be a problem. I don't care who you is. It's going to cause a bunch of confusion and a rift. 
Like you said, this respect ain't mutual. If you rock with a nigga, it's love. You see him doing something that's out of character, you do one or two things. You cut the nigga off. Hey, nigga, I'm not rocking with you no more. It ain't no beef. It ain't no issue. But we ain't tight as we thought we was. No need for a nigga to go to the internet about it. I'm going to hit the nigga direct if I really respect him and got love for him. Say, Charlemagne, what's good, my boy? Hey, you got somebody on the show, whether he right or wrong, he ain't got nothing nice to say about me. I've been rocking with you longer than him. Because what it really is and what academics' real issue is, is not only did you not do my podcast after all this time, you did his first. And, nigga, he, I'm established in this game. I'm one of the biggest platforms. Dog just getting started, and you're going to go show him the love and the respect and lend him your platform, and then he get to come on your platform and then shit on me while he there. And I'm going to tell you like this, though. That's what academics is wrong at. When a nigga show you what he on, you call him direct and y'all get an understanding on the phone. That make a nigga really stomp down and respect you. Showing the text messages to each his own. Do what y'all want to do. I'm just going to tell you how it come out from Because everybody use how big the platforms are, how much popularity the nigga got. Niggas don't care about how it really looks and how it really feels. It's all about who got the most popularity, who got the most money, who got the most status, who making the most moves. But in the real life, the way you get respect from a man, you hit that nigga direct on that line. Say, bro, you got dog on there alone. And long doing this thing. But if you rock with me and you've been rocking with me, hey, you tell me it's love with me, you tell me it's respect with me, which Charlemagne has shown multiple times he rock with academics. It's supposed to be love and support with academics for Charlemagne. He has shown that. But say, bro, why how I look when this nigga coming on your platform, you rock with me, and then you ain't came to do mine yet, and it seemed like I'm getting a run around. But when you come on the internet, you damn near kind of prove it right because you showing text messages, you doing this, you doing that. And you don't have to go by these guidelines and rules. Every man can do what they want to do. I'm just going to tell you it's going to come off a certain way. That's just how this game go. You got a right to feel away. You got a right to be pissed off. Hit that nigga direct and get it across. You can't let the fans in the comment section, the supporters, and trust me, a nigga understand how big his supporters of his platform is. This is the game we playing. But at the same time, hit that nigga first, get it in check, and then come to the internet. Don't expose the text messages if you really rock with a nigga because I ain't finna be doing no exposing text messages, calling niggas out and this and this and that. I did all that. It looked like I threw a temper tantrum just to get them to come to my show. And we all know academics don't need nobody on this podcast. If I'm up like that, I don't need y'all niggas. Y'all wanna come rock with me? Oh, well, nigga, we move on. Because this gets to the point, look like some little young dude shit. I understand this is the entertainment game. It's entertainment. It is entertaining to look at for sure. And everybody in this conversation, Loon, Charlemagne, academics, bring something to the game to view and got supporters and viewers. I watch everything that come out on the internet. You know what I'm saying? To a certain extent. Not everything, but y'all get what I'm saying. I'm just saying... Things got to get handled more correctly as bosses and men. And if you want that respect, go to a nigga direct. Me and my niggas, we have issues if we do, which we don't. But if we do, we talk to each other direct, bro. That's how it always been with me. And the niggas, I got niggas I ain't got to talk to for two, three, four years, and we still 100. They know it's love. They know it's respect. They know it's that. Then the other niggas that I have contacted behind the scenes before, told them directly what it was, they weren't feeling it, we don't rock no more. That's just how the game go. Tell me what y'all think. We got more videos, all that, 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot, more coming.